Hey guys. So as you guys can see today, I am going to do my face palettes. You guys had requested for me to continue doing this. So I have, typically it's two drawers, but because this whole drawer was completely basically empty with the exception of like my loose powders, that's all that was in here. Everything else was empty. I kind of spaced out my face palettes into two and a half uh, uh, drawers. This year I want to tackle my face palettes a little bit more play around with ones that I haven't played with to see if I still want to keep them I did get rid of quite a few last year and I want to continue to make sure that the ones that are still here in these drawers I still like and would want to pan so I'm still testing them out as you guys know I do pan that face palette so it's a little bit difficult for me to play around with these but I am going to make it an effort for this year to play around with the ones that I haven't that are like on the fence and then if not i will be ending up decluttering them so anyway you're here for the declutter so let's get into it okay so here is this one this is the midi palette by ofra this is the only highlighting palette that i have left from ofra i don't have any more singles left from them i'm debating about this one because i can only see myself actually liking this one so that's the first one this is one of my favorites this is from alexa persico cosmetics I love this highlighting palette. It's beautiful. I love to use this in the summer, mixing these two together and then this one on its own. It's beautiful. So this was sent to me in PR a while back. She still has new um, products coming out, but she doesn't send me any more PR. So I've only gotten PR twice from this brand, but I do like this a lot. Here is a NARS uh, Adoration one. This is a pink highlighter and a blush. This is really pretty. Really enjoy this one. I also have Frenzy. Frenzy is another one that I really enjoy. This is one of my favorites for the summertime. Uh, orangey shade and then a, a nice goldy highlighter. Really like this one. Then I might too make a forever. Now they have officially made these into two separate ones. This one is in O2, which is the pink version. Uh, or no, the uh, darker version. As you guys can see, I have loved this very much. I love this highlighter. And the bronzer is not my favorite, but I do use it as an eyeshadow. And then this one is a one. You guys can see how disgustingly dirty these are. This is the pink version. And then this is the bronzer. I use, again, this as a, um, an eyeshadow. But I really do like these highlighters. Makeup Forever has really good complexion products as well. The only Anastasia face palette like this that I have is a trio. This one is in Peach Love. I have debated on letting this one go, but I do like these shades a lot. You guys know my love for Laura Geller uh, blushes. So these are four of her blushes. This is a really old one. Uh, raspberry, pink, gray fruit. Here's my golden apricot again in Sunswept. I do not have golden apricot as a single, so I keep the two in the palettes. I really like this blush. These three I do have in uh, singles, I believe. Yeah, I have all three of these in singles. Love this palette though to take with me because it's just enough and I get a nice variety. This was the Smashbox palette that was in collaboration with Casey Holmes. I kept the lighter version, decluttered the darker version. This is the pearl. I have only used it just enough to make sure that I did like it. So I am keeping this one. And um, unfortunately, it doesn't have her name on it, but I do like it. I have the three tart. Uh, Tardis Pro Glow. This is the original. This was one of my Pan That Face palette last year. I haven't touched it since, but I do want to get back to it. Then I have the one with the the one with the highlighter, blush, and bronzers in here. This is really pretty. I do like this one as well. And then the last one. This was gifted to me. This was gifted to me, and this is the latest and darkest version. I don't think they do anymore. This is a little bit darker. Really like this one because it concentrates more on blushes and then one highlighter and then like a blushy bronze up here. So all three of these, I will, I know I do like this formula, so I will keep these. I don't need to really like get into them to use them. I have two. I used to have three. I got rid of one. This one is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Glow. This is Instant Warm Glow. It's a bronzer, a blush, highlighter. I like this one. And these are very hard packed in here, so they're gonna last me a while. The other one that I have is the Instant Nude, which is a little bit lighter. This one's actually my favorite of the two, and there was a different one. I did end up decluttering that one. Jouer's a Banquet d'Amour. These are six blushes. I really like these. 
This is the reason why I never bought their duos because I had this and this reminded me of the NARS Taj Mahal for a blush. Very unique. I do like this and it looks like I haven't used it, but I have used it. It's very beautiful. This is my Depotted Laura Geller highlighter. These were, this was two face palettes in one and I just decluttered it in here because it was just, it, it was these triangle looking things and I just would rather keep it this way. So these are the lighter versions, the mid-tone and then the darker versions of it. As you guys can see, I have used it. Kat Von D's Alchemist. This one I found, I remember out of Marshalls. Um, I have not used it, but I know I will use this one, especially as an inner corner highlight. Um, it's beautiful, unique. So I am going to keep this one. I know that for sure. All right, I own two Smashbox ones left. This one's the Cali one. Oh, a blaze. This one's gorgeous. Love this one for like summertime. I haven't used it, but I know I love Smashbox face products. So I know I'm going to end up keeping this one. Obviously, I still have it. And this is the Cali Kissed one. This one's a little bit more pinky version. Really like it. And that highlighter looks really nice as an eyeshadow. But again, I haven't used either one of these two, but I know I will keep these. I don't need to actually use them. This is a beautiful one. This is the Shine Bright by Lorac. I have used this one. Lorac, this one I have in a single. I got rid of the Aura. I um I did have this as a single. got rid of that one. Tea Rose and Blossoms were limited edition. Opalescent and Bold Spirit are two highlighters. So I'm very happy. And I'm actually very glad that I got rid of Aura because I have this in here. And I had it as a single, but I never really reached for it as often. But now that I have it here, I'm good with that. So I know I do like Lorac single, like their formula for their faces. So I will keep this one. This one's one that I'm on the fence with. This is the pure highlighting one. I'm going to play around with this one. This one's on the fence. I have thought about this, whether I should get rid of it or not, because it's just highlighters. And I can see myself only really liking these three right here, but I am going to play with it before I make my decision. And then if I don't like it, I will declutter it. But this one was a limited edition one. All right, back here, I have this ColourPop Got Beaming one. Um, this one I'm definitely going to keep. I do like ColourPops. When they did these, these are really nice. Um, I haven't used it, but I know I do like it because I do have a single from them. So I will be keeping this one. This one. I got rid of the palette, but I kept the face palette. This was from the Pirates of the Caribbean um, co collaboration. And I always keep this because it's like the sun in here or the moon phases. And I love this. I have used it. It's beautiful. This is one of my favorite face palettes. It's, it's a stunner. I really do like it. They did a great job with the face palette and I preferred the face palette over the eyeshadow palette, surprisingly. And I did get rid of the eyeshadow palette. This was a gift from Misty. Misty, I'm um, here on YouTube. She, this was too dark for her and she asked if I wanted it. I've never purchased an hourglass palette. Every time I tried, I just never pulled the trigger. I will eventually. I do want to get one that I really do like. So this one is the Lighting Edit Universe Unlocked. These are hard to open. I'll tell you that much. And I just cut my nails. <laughs> so this is what this one looks like. This is a deeper version, but I can get away with using this in the summer. So this is a bronzer, I believe, a highlighter, two blushes, and then a face powder. This reminds me of summer. So this is why I haven't played around with it. She did send me this during the, I think December or November. So I haven't played around with it because I know that this will work for me in the summertime. So I'm hanging on to it until then, but I do want to get one myself that'll work for me throughout the whole year. All right, so this is the quad that uh, the bomb came out with. This is the Luminizer Squad. Um, these are their four ladies. Obviously, Mary Lou, which are having a single. Penny Lou, which was limited edition. Emma Lou was also limited edition to this palette. Cindy Lou, I did have as a single, and because I had her here, I did declutter her a while back. This is more like a, a blush topper, kind of. I have played around with it. It's beautiful. Even this blue, like Emma Lou, it may look a little bit odd but it does look nice on the skin. So uh, I do like this palette and I have used it. So I, that, that's why it has survived declutters. Two Bare Minerals. These are their baked formula and I do love baked products. You guys know if you saw my single collection of highlighters and uh, blushes and bronzers, you guys know I like the baked formula a ton. Gelee and baked formula are my top favorite when it comes to face complexion products. So this one was a limited edition. This is the Stellar Glow. You get Moonlight Pearl, Perry. Harry Tinkle, all these shades right here, Sunburst, Mercury, Rising. So I, I believe these are going to be beautiful. I'm going to play around with it, but I'm pretty sure this is going to stay. 
same thing goes with this one. This was another year they came out with this one. I don't know what it was called, but you guys can see these are a little bit more earthy toned shades. This one's definitely staying. I know I'm going to like this one as well. All right, this is a Becca one. This is the last Becca face palette I ever purchased after Becca decided, or like right before Becca decided that they're no longer going to be a company. And this one was their Sunsetter one. So I really, I have played around with this one and I really do like it. Um, anything Becca face products, I've always loved. So these are the shades that were in here. Going to keep it definitely for sure. And this was also sent to me by Misty. I've never purchased one of these benefit ones when they came out with them. This is the Fire Queen one. This is a little bit deeper, but it does have products that I know I will love. And again, I'm waiting for the summertime to play around with this one. Hula, I do have as a single bronzer. And you guys know I only like that in the summer. I did mention that in that video. So these, I'm going to wait for the summertime. Last but not least, this is a Z palette uh, that had eyeshadows in here. I decluttered the eyeshadows and everything, and I kept the Z palette. Here is where I have some of my old school uh, Too Faced ones. So this is like a Papa Don't Peach, the original Too Faced, before they made it into a single. And then I forget what this one is called. But it came in an old school palette, you guys. And these just last a long time. This is La Vie and Rose. And then this is the Sun Bunny bronzer. Again, Sun Bunny bronzer, the Chocolate Soleil. These all came out of palettes. All this came out of a palette that came with eyeshadows and with um, blushes, bronzers. And then this one is another... Let me pull this out of here. And this one, I believe, is doesn't say i can't remember what this one's from came from this palette too but i just don't remember the name of it but again this all is two-faced so this is where i keep them because i have as you can clearly see i have used it so it's not like it's just sitting in here Okay, so here is my second drawer full of face palettes. As you guys can see, it's a lot more spaced out because I separated some up here just to make room down here. So this is basically where I keep my NARS and Dior and Benefit and like the family groups. So let's get started, shall we? So this is the NARS Orgasm on the Beach. I believe this is the last one I purchased. I haven't bought a NARS face palette in a while because I have a ton. This one's an old school one. This is the Narcissist. I believe this was an Ulta one. None of these have I used, but I know all of my NARS will always stay with me because I love the NARS face palette. You guys know that. This one is an Exposed. Beautiful. This one's an old school one. Blanc Disable. You guys know about this one. I have used this one, so I know I love that one. This one is the Unfiltered 2. Old school one. Obviously, this is the one that I was painting last year, the Guy Bourdain. This is my oldest one. This is their bronzer one. This is the Bord de Pledge. I don't know how to say these, you guys. I only speak Spanish and English. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, then we have this one, which is called um, Overlust one. Beautiful one. This one's the Unfiltered, the first one. This one's the dark, deep one. Look at that shade. It's gorgeous excited about that one and then this one I have is the wanted two and the wanted one which is the lighter version those are all of my NARS palettes and I will always always have those this is a Laura Geller just blushing this is another one that I absolutely love and I have used quite a bit of it this is the only palette that I purchased last year this was the um one with uh Ro Rosalia which is a Spanish singer rapper whatever you want to call it but i found this to be beautiful so i did purchase this is the only purchase i got last year the Dior one of these was gifted to me by my friend lisa this one is the universal one i think this is the one she got me and then i loved it so much because i have used this one i ended up purchasing the glitz when they came out with like four different ones i know i love this formula so i always keep it my mac uh this one is the star dipped one in the medium deep beautiful and i love that shade this reminds me of that holiday one that they came out with a few years ago ah beautiful 
And then this one is the light version of it, which is looking like that. I like Mac. You guys know I love my Mac ones too. So that I don't need to test out because I know I will try them. These are ones that I have played with, but I don't remember. So I want to test these out again. Urban Decay Afterglow, the original. And then I also have the Afterglow one, which was the second version that they came out with. I want to play around with these. This one I feel like I like more than the original. So this is why I want to play around with these because I know that this one has been on the fence. I have pulled it and brought it back, pulled it, brought it back. So I want to play around with at least this one to see if I'm going to keep it these i'm definitely keeping this is the becca chloe collaborations this is the deeper version oh my gosh these are just beautiful and i have used both this is the lighter version of it um uh, yeah keeping both of these always i already use those this one is a becca one in sun chaser palette again i'm keeping this i don't even need to try because i know i love it Lancome dual finish highlighter palette. Again, I love this. I have sparkling pesh as a single. I don't have these two, but I know this is a formula I do love, so I will not need to test that out. More MAC. This one is the um, Step Right Up in the light version. And I think I have the deeper version somewhere. These are the real glow ones that I have. I keep this because the names are on there. This is the gold version. This is the rose gold version or the lighter version. I believe they have like a peachy version, but I didn't purchase that. Again, I'm going to like those so I know I don't need to test these out. Here's another one. This is the blush highlighter bronzer. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Love this by Laura Geller. She should come out with more of those. Clinique cheek pop palette. This is the only one that I do own. And I don't think I have that shade. I might have that one. But I did purchase that. I do have singles of that, so I know I will keep it. This one has sentimental value to me, and I should have got the blush one, and I never did. This is the highlighting version. I have used this a ton. As you can see, it has been loved, but it, I barely made a dent. But I love this palette. We'll always keep that. Here is the MAC Iced Extra Dimension in the light version. I'm surprised this is still in its box. So here is the lighter version of this one. Then these, the Cheek Leader Bronze. So this one is the darker version, I believe. Yes, this is the darker version. Oh, no, no, this is the lighter version. This was actually gifted to me by my friend Lisa one holiday because Cookie was not a single. So she ended up getting me this, which I'm happy because I don't have Gold Rush as a single and they don't make it anymore anyway. Coralista, Hula and Hula Caramel, which I don't own either. So I'm happy that I had this. And because I loved this one, the whole look of it, I ended up buying the darker version of it myself, which brought Tickle. So let me put this down. So I brought the one Tickle. California, Dandelion, I don't own. Dallas is one of my favorites. I have it as a single hula. So this is why I purchased this one as well, because I knew I would love this one. Last but not least, I'm my Natasha Denona. Here is my Love Glow palette that I was panning last year. I hit pan on that shade. The Bloom, which I have yet to play with. Hopefully I will this year. Tan, I have not played with either. And the bronze cheek one. You guys know I'm taking my time with picking these, but I am on a mission to play around with these. So that's this drawer. And last but not least is my last drawer of highlighters. I actually have one more drawer that I will show you at the end of all of my single Z palette of face palettes. But this is the last one. This is where I keep all of my Anastasia ones. So I'm going to run through those real quickly just because you guys have seen these a million times. I still have the Sun Dipped, That Glow, Gleam, which are their old school ones, uh, Sugar, which is one of my favorites, the Nicole Guerrero, the Glow Kit, which I've used quite a bit. Um, the Dream, I'm sorry. This is the Dream Glow Kit, and then this is the original Glow Kit. Then these, I have the Moonchild and Aura in here. Also, I have Physician's Formula. This is one of my contenders of panning, but I did not pan that one. I have my Tarte Wheels that I have used. These are the last two of them that I have. I don't have many tart because I feel like they go bad quicker, but my tart here are two more. This one is in blush bliss. This was given to me as a gift 
and here is their highlighter version in skin twinkle I don't like that center one but I do like this palette here is the tardist one and then the second version of that skin twinkle one that they came out with so those are all the tart ones then I have these long gated one here's my only makeup geek highlighting palette Beauty and the Beast collection from Lorac with the roses, absolutely beautiful. I loved when they did things like this. This Lorac one is one of my favorites from the uh, California Dreaming one, the palette I loved, and this I loved very, very much. Then here are more Becca. This is the Christy Teigen. I have used this one and love it. Becca Aprice, I loved it so much that I ended up uh, gifting another one. The Jaclyn Hill, the original one, it's in its packaging. I have used it. But just for the sake of time, you guys know what that one looks like. I have two Laura Mercier. This one is in the Cheek Glow. Beautiful. And then this one is in the Tress Cheek one. So I have two of those. Then I have two Too Faced Sugar Peach one. Oh my goodness, I can't believe they discontinued that one. It's gorgeous. And then the Natural Face. I remember getting this one on a ridiculous sale both of those and then i have the milk and honey from beauty bakery and the cotton candy this is the highlighting version and then i have the cotton candy one which you guys know has been one of my favorites as well All right, I have one more drawer. This is a drawer that stays in my closet. This is all of my Z palettes of face palettes that I have. And then I do have three more of uh, face palettes. These two, oh my goodness, these are just, I wish I would have gotten backups because then I, can, I still want to use them. This is the Nutcracker, Nutcracker collection. One was gifted to me by my friend Lisa and the other one I did purchase. This is the one she bought for me. I love these. I, I still can't get myself to use them, but I know... I will one day, I promise. I will. If you guys like like to torture me by doing project pans of touching stuff I don't want to touch yet. And this is the light version. Just give me a moment. I will eventually one day. And then this is the Kevin Aquan in the Neo Highlighter. So this is like a like a gradient one. Got this in PR. I really like this one. I didn't like the bronzer, but I did like the highlighter, and it's all like all fancy. Now, these are all of my Z palettes. So this is all of my Too Faced uh, baked ones. I depotted them because the packaging was so bulky. So this is the tea. I just did this recently. So this is the um, Sweet Tea, Peach Bellini, and a Sparkling something. So these are the three, and I love these so I have them in here and they, these are nice and domey. You can get these at like Joann's Fabrics, these Z palette things are meant for like needles and stuff, but they're domed. So then I could put my big products in here. Just a little heads up for those. All right. So these are all different ones. So let me share with you guys here. So this one is ColourPop. This one is my Sydney Grace blushes. This one's more Sydney Grace blushes in here. These are all my singles. You guys can see I'm trying to pair them differently. Then these are highlighters. This one is Luxy Beauty highlighters. Then these are Sydney Grace highlighters and Sydney Grace highlighters. Some of these I have not purchased. They come with like the mystery bags and I buy all the mystery bags every year. So that's why. These are Makeup Geek blushes and then a Tarte one that just didn't fit. I depotted all of my single Tarte blushes into Z palettes, so then that way I can have more space in my drawers. This one's more of the nude version, obviously. This is the pinkier, purpley versions of my Tarte, and then my corally colors of my Tarte blushes. All right, guys, that is all of my face palettes, including all of my single depotted or single blushes that i've put in z palettes as far as my face palettes as far as my face palettes i am going to go through these drawers this year like i mentioned a few of them i have mentioned to you guys that i want to play around with to see if i'm going to keep them or declutter them 
because I'm not sure if I really want to pan them. As you guys know, I don't do the whole, if it sparks joy. No, I do like if, am I willing to sit and pan this palette for a full year without getting bored or annoyed or frustrated because certain shades don't work for me? That's my mentality when it comes to project pan or the decluttering things. And I'm so happy to hear that many people have followed. Like I, I hear a few people saying the same thing and I'm like, yay we're doing it all together so anyway this is my face palette collection you guys all these um a lot less than what i had still a ton but i do use my face palette so i'm not upset about it i'm just trying to control what comes in and the nars palettes is what gets me every time nars and mac again you guys can clearly see if you saw my single blushes you guys know that mac and nars are my weakness when it comes to blushes and mac and nars face palettes again are my weakness they just do such a good job with their formula all throughout that i can always trust them whether i am 20 or 200 they'll still look beautiful on the skin so that's all that i have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching i believe i'm gonna do lip products next so stay tuned for that thank you again more videos on the screen for your enjoyment until then adios